How's it going, guys? My name is Colonel Muffin, and I am back with another episode of Napkin Shredder. Today we are going to be going over some of the things I've added while you guys were gone. Uh, starting with this safe chest. A lot of users have been expressing concern for not being able to complete the map, so I've made this one safe area in the whole map where you can store your th goodies. Like if you were to get a block of gold for a victory monument, you would just shove it in here and it would stay safe from all the TNT that's in this map. Hee <laughs> hee. All right, uh, so what else have I added? I've finished up a leap of faith. Let's go take a look. Uh, we have this side, the supposedly safe side, and there's this like super secret room here. You guys can check it out if you download the map. But I, uh, it's super secret, so I won't show you guys it. Then we have this other room here, where I finished this up from last episode, and this works fine now too and someone said to put all the blocks in the chest so I did so now uh, when napkin runs down here he can grab one hopefully he's intelligent he'll only grab one and that way oh shoot that way if he dies <laughs> uh, he will be able to respawn and grab another one and that way it will be able to be the map will be able to be completed uh, I think some of the redstone is broken right now, but I'll fix that later. I think it's because of the 1.1 update. It messed up some of the redstone. That's okay. I will fix that later. I'm too lazy to right now. Let's cover that up. But today we are going to be working on the last room. Uh, we have the diamond block in that bedrock dungeon. We have the gold block in our... Uh, hallway of doom <laughs> I don't know what to name it and our last block is going to be a glass block which requires crafting uh, crafting you must create a what do you call it a furnace and then you must cook up a sand block so we're going to mess with Colonel uh, mess with commander napkin what we're going to do is make a bud switch trap uh, I don't really I don't think uh, napkin knows what a bud switch is uh, otherwise but uh, hopefully he doesn't and maybe he'll fall for our trap here so uh, what I'm going to go do right now is create a giant pallet of sand floating in the air and then I will be back. All right, guys, we have our sand pellet. Uh, it's very dangerous to walk on because it's only one layer thin. But uh, let me put some lighting in here quickly to generate some sort of atmosphere. Uh, hopefully, he'll understand that this is an obvious trap. Because if you break any of these sand blocks, you will fall. <laughs> because sand, uh, sand is not meant to float up like that. And then uh, under here, we're gonna place just a layer of lava. So even if he does survive the fall, uh, he won't survive the lava, and nor will his items. So hopefully, he's, he's smart enough to use that safe chest. Oops, I've provided. Otherwise, he'll have to go back into the dungeon and back into uh, the Leap of Faith area. Oh, sorry, I'm talking so slowly, guys. I'm I'm just trying to think. Oop! Shoot! 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 How do I? Dang it! Oops! I spilled. My bad. So let's fill this place up with lava. Uh, I could have done this in MC Edit, but uh, too lazy. We're going to do it the old way. Oh shoot! Well, that caused problems. Nope, it's fine. Okay. 
So ooh, this is our little death pit for him. He will probably not survive it very long. Uh, let's just put some on the walls here for mood. <laughs> um, and yeah, I don't, th I don't think, I don't think he'll have enough blocks to uh, pillar down here and explore. I don't understand why he would, because uh, that's one thing that's going to be really difficult in this map is to find enough blocks to uh, make your way around here. Because I provide very few blocks. Alright. Uh, and then through that doorway will be the Victory Monument. Uh, which we will also make today. Don't know if I can get everything into 15 minutes. I still have that. Restriction. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here's our sand. And now let us put our furnace right over on over here. And this is where we'll put our bud switch trap. Let's do that. And grab a furnace. Furnace. And then we we'll put some coal in it just for him. We'll put a we'll put a blaze rod in there. Blaze rods are cool. And they can be used as fuel as of a recent update. So let's do this, make it look all look how pretty. <laughs> oh yeah, some of you more experienced players will see right through me, right through my trap, but I don't think Napkin knows what, what's going on here. Now let's move it up, make it look a bit cooler. Oh, uh, is this too obvious? Might be too obvious. <laughs> oh, whatever. Now uh, let's see. Shove this in there. Uh, let's see. What else? Okay. Yeah, now we have to make our bud switch. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to. You need a piston. Sticky piston, preferably. And one of these. Uh, let's get rid of some of this trash in my inventory. We do need some redstone. Uh, let's go experiment outside. I don't want to break anything in here. Been making frequent backups just in case. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out how to make a bud switch. Um, so you diagonally power it, which is uh, that's diagonal. And then once you place a block next to it, it updates. Yes, that's how you make a bud switch. Very cool. Uh, let's go apply it to our furnace trap. Uh, let's see. I must. I have to hide the wiring while making it very sneaky. So uh, this is where our piston is going to go. You will diagonally power it, like so. And now, now if I place something in here, uh, say I'm cooking, I need something to cook. Say I'm cooking some iron ore. If I drop this in here, it updates. Very cool. So yeah, uh, let's get, let's reset this boy. And uh, okay, let's just get a whole new furnace. And actually, we'll just use coal. Yeah, we'll just use one. We'll just use a block of coal, like that. And then uh, I don't. Should it be in TNT trap? Because really don't want to blow up this area. Actually, I could just make all the sand fall. Oh no no no! So the plan here is he's going to know that he needs to make a glass block. So he's going to see the sand. He's going to see the furnace, so he'll probably grab a piece of sand, all the sand will fall, and he might die along with it, if I'm lucky. And then, if he doesn't, then he won't get any sand at all, so... Hmm. This is tricky. What kind of trap should it be? I guess I could... 
Could make it a piston trap. It's a tad, oops. It's a tad bit complicated. <sighs> thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think I should make turn this trap into. Either a piston trap, a TNT trap, and where will the TNT be? You let me know that too. Yeah, let me know in the comments. I guess I guess this we will have multiple episodes left. Just trying to get this finished. So we could watch Napkin play it, but I guess not. Until we get the whole thing finished. So uh let's Let's make the victory monument, and then we'll call it a day. Let's see. Uh, let's make this look nice. Because he would have worked very hard to get here. Alright, he walks up this little nice staircase. Let's break that. I can't break these blocks here. Actually, can I? Okay, nice. I can break those blocks. I was worried it might update the sand. And we can make place stone brick along here to make it look nice like so uh, we can put glowstone up there and we'll just continue like this we'll use all no cracked brick here because we have to make it look nice and this is where our victory monument will be uh, let's use another brick it's more formal all right guys done yeah, I think it looks nice uh, this is where you place the diamond block this is where you place the gold block and this is where you place the glass block when you're done uh, I just realized I do need to place a block of sand where he can uh, actually grab it without dying so I think we're gonna place it um, we're going to place it right oh I really want to add a trap into this I'll place one right here and one right here uh, just to mess with his head uh, actually no we are going to place it in a very very nerve-wracking spot we'll place it right here so it looks like a trap but it isn't <laughs> and hopefully he'll grab this block without dying because that's the only one. Uh, actually, no, let's place another one somewhere else, just in case. Just in case he's so dumb he dies that many times. Let's place it down here in Leap of Faith. Oops, wrong one. Wrong way, wrong way. Even I fall for my own tricks. <laughs> uh, so, uh, let's place it down and here so if he is that stupid he will have to uh, deal with getting out of here which is crazy hard you need a lot of blocks for that yep so yeah let's just place a bunch of sand blocks down here oh I really hope I didn't just mess up my redstone otherwise I'll be really angry oh I gotta go check Make sure I didn't mess up my redstone. But oh yeah, guess what? These brick thingies, uh, these cause trouble. Uh, at the beginning, I tell you to dig under brick because there is secret stuff under there. But like here's one, and there is another brick thingy in there, and that's just little tricks that you guys should. Ooh. You guys should, I almost stepped on my own pressure plates, uh, but you guys should check that out, the brick thingies. If you ever download the map, or you can just watch Napkin uh, fall for it. But let me know what I should do with this furnace, if I should even make a trap. And we're out of time for today, so thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.